When do you have your best day at work? When you leave the house with a good interaction with your spouse, right? Okay. If you have a big fight before you leave for work in the morning, you probably carry some of that with you into your job, right? And it's going to take you a couple of three hours in the morning to ever get going because you're still, you're still having a conversation in your head with that person back at your house, okay? You can't think about your work because there's a lot of things you wanted to say that you didn't get said before you left the house. And you're still dealing with all this kind of stuff going on in your mind. And finally, you get into the day about noon, you kind of get into your work. Why? Because you kind of had to work through the relationship stuff. Can I get an amen right there, okay? Some of you act like you've been there before, okay? You know what I'm talking about today, okay? But it happens in all realms of life. And so if you want to be productive... The smoother your relationships are, the more you invest in relationships, the more productivity will be a part of your life. The Bible teaches us this. It's not far into Scripture. It's right in the Bible. Look at what it says in Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9. Two are better than one. Two are better than one because they have a good, what? Return for their labor. They're more productive when we're in right relationship with each other. It's a very interesting story in Genesis chapter 11. Let me kind of give you a basis of the story, and then we'll look at a particular verse. It was a time in human history when people who were anti-God decided they wanted to build their own structure to worship. It was called the Tower of Babel. Okay. So they're going to build this great, ba- this great tower going up into the sky. Okay. And God looks down and says, we've got a problem here because if they do this... Obviously, they're going to exalt themselves. They're worshiping the wrong God. So I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to actually divide up the nation so they can't talk. They will never talk the same language any longer. They have different languages, and that's what we see happening with the fall of the Tower of Babel and all the languages that begin to be dispersed throughout humanity. And here's the reason for it. Notice what it says here in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. And the negative example is a positive principle for us. The Lord said, if as one people speaking the same language, they had begun to do this then, read the rest with me, nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. God says, I've learned something. I see something in humanity that they're learning. They're learning that if they're unified, then there's nothing impossible for them. And here's the principle that when we're unified in our homes and unified in our work environments, we find that lots of things are far more possible than impossible in our life. We become productive. Improving your relationships will always improve the productivity of your life.